Hello everyone, it's Felicity here from Zenitha Tarot, the place for emotional healing and gain wisdom from tarot to navigate your life. This is a temple tarot reading for the sign of Gemini. And uh, just before I begin, I would like to let you know that if you come up with other interpretations from the cards, feel free to stick to your own interpretations. It's because uh, within 10 or 11th minutes, I can only give you the most obvious interpretations. And uh, so, if you have come up with other interpretations from the cards, uh, that is the message that you need to get from the cards. So, let's begin. Uh, I sincerely ask the guidance from the universe to give advice and wisdom to those of moon, sun arising in the sign of Gemini. This is the temporal tarot reading for the sign of Gemini. And we look at the general energy I play for you, the career, and um, how you connect with others in a public setting emotionally and how you, you connect with others in a private setting emotionally. This is September 10 reading for those who have moon, sun or rising in the sign of Gemini. And we look at general energy at play, career, how you connect with others in a public setting and in private setting. The deck I'm using is Cosmic Tarot. Now let's see. Okay, um, it feels like in September there may be some kind of uh, certain change. The certain change of the direction of the wind and uh, maybe from some kind of judgment from others and you lose certain kind of uh, confidence and then um, maybe at the beginning of the month or maybe in the previous month uh, you feel like um, you are gaining the upper hand of something um, maybe you are given certain type of responsibility and status or recognition from others but then in September certainly there's some kind of uh, strong judgment from others and this sudden change, um, you may need to prepare for it. Uh, but then it feels like uh, you are quite ready, your emotions are quite ready for this change. Maybe it is the change for the better. Yes, uh, in some area of your life, maybe you need to uh, reorganize, maybe you need to address um, there's some kind of new path for you. So in order to uh, take on a new journey, the universe is helping you to get rid of the old, to get rid of the old path, the old restriction. So uh, even though it's sudden change of the direction of your path, it's all right because it seems like finally you are able to heal your own wounds and then your emotional uh, level will be balanced. This is the helping hand from the universe okay so um, try not to see it as some kind of uh, uh, distress or uh, pressure try not to take control um, because uh, this is the universe plan to help you on your path to uh, help you to guide you on the path that you need to travel on so there needs to be some kind of um, certain changes um, that brings a little bit of discomfort at the beginning but then you will rebalance you will um, feel at ease maybe sometimes 
finally at the end of the month you feel like oh that is indeed the the path that I need to set on and the old path is not what brings me emotional satisfaction so suddenly you will realize that and uh, in every career it feels that there's some kind of work to do and uh, the, the project is not uh, completed yet and some of you are quite protective of the self maybe the people that you work with are quite protective of themselves and then some are very hard working and some are just ordering you to do something or I feel like uh, it feels like in the teamwork some are protective of themselves and then ordering someone to do things and then some teammates or yourself actually do the work so remember this kind of uh, imbalance in a situation in order to make things work in order to complete something all people in the team needs to contribute their own efforts otherwise it's not going to be balanced and then some are feeling very tired and then some just like um, uh, manipulate and ordering and it creates some kind of uh, injustice into some people's life so um, have to really be careful and stick to the plans as well it feels like uh, yes maybe some plans need to be addressed but then you have to see the own plans and not to lose sight of your career not to lose sight of the original plan and um, it feels like um, if you like to secure your status or secure some kind of uh, project uh, there needs to be some kind of communication and hard work because um, if you do not complete this contract um, maybe some if the project or contract has not been signed yet there may be a chance that other people are trying to fight for the contract to fight for the business first of uh, something so if you are trying to make a deal sign the contract try to uh, sign it um, at the right moment and complete the contract or if you are working on a project and then even though there's some kind of uh, certain change instead of leaving abandoning the project try to um, have a little bit of uh, spirits and the spirits of honoring your own words honoring your own promise and not to drop out in the middle of the project and on the emotional level on how you um, socialize with others on the on a public setting it feels like um, maybe at the beginning you feel a little bit of uh, pressure um, disappointment and uh, but at the same time it feels like uh, emotionally you are feeling calm maybe you would like to project the calmness to the public and and then uh, it, you are quite flexible when it comes to communication sometimes you would like to uh, show how uh, you think and then uh, sometimes you just uh, keep the judgment to yourself so uh, when it comes to uh, how you communicate with others you are quite uh, flexible and it feels like uh, you need to retain certain a uh, certain degree of calmness when you are associate when you are socialized uh, with others and also tap into your own emotions listen to your own intuition you have a strong intuition but then sometimes you you stick to your own mind and your own ego and your own ego and your own mind try to uh, analyze things and then so you may uh, lose touch with your own intuition so balance your own emotions and not let your emotions um, flying out and then uh, disturb yourself or disturb others and 
of course, uh, there may be some kind of emotional struggle uh, because your emotion is not completely free or co not completely balanced yet. And uh, maybe you are trying to uh, find recognition from others and that is the knocking off, knock you off from the balance emotionally. And um, when it comes to how you uh, socialize or manage uh, with the partnership or close relationship with others in a private setting. It feels like um, maybe you are avoiding your emotions. Maybe there are things that you do not want to see. and um, But at the same time, you know what you are doing. So, so there's a between uh, understanding and understanding yourself and being completely honest and being yourself completely in front of your close friends and partnership and relationship. But at the same time, uh, you show your uniqueness, you show who you are completely, you show who you are emotionally with uh, to others. But at the same time, you cannot face your own emotions. You just show your emotions to others. But at the same time, because the emotions are not very pleasant, you do not want to show it. You do not, you do not want to show it to yourself. You show it to others instead in a private setting. So uh, try to be honest with yourself. Be honest with your... You are honest with your close friends, your partners but you are not honest with yourself. Maybe uh, you see something in you and then you show the emotions to others, but at the same time, you are not willing to face your own emotions or heal your own wounds. So it's very important to heal your own wounds in this month and not just show your emotions to others and let others take care of your emotions. You are grown up. You are uh, able to take care of your own emotions. So uh, heal your own wounds at the same time showing emotion to yourself and to others. And I hope you enjoyed this reading. For personal reading, please click the link in the description box below. See you next month. Bye.